Welcome to my second installment of uh, two biasing and I'm making this second movie in response to some questions I've received from the first one. The first question is um, where is this one ohm resistor that you're measuring the voltage drop across and uh, the answer is I installed it. So if you want to uh, have a one ohm resistor in series with the anode going to the output transformer so that you can uh, measure current because as we know uh, according to Ohm's law V equals IR and if you have a one ohm resistor voltage equals current so yeah you'll have to install it let me zoom in so you can see my installation it's pretty straightforward stuff my pointer. Here you can see the blue wire is uh, pin 3 of the uh, first um, output tube and what I've done is I've wired or soldered, pardon me, a uh, 1 ohm resistor between two terminals. So I, my output or anode goes to the first terminal and then following the uh, flow uh, goes to the uh, output and then there's a brown wire underneath that you don't see very well that goes to the output transformer. Similarly with the other power tube, pin 3, I've got the orange wire going to one end of the uh, the input end of the 1 ohm resistor which goes to the output terminal and then I have a red wire going to the uh, output transformer. So, now I did it this way so that when you turn this thing over, you get terminals on the back that look like so. And what that does is uh, it allows you to uh, check your readings without taking the head out of the box. Similarly, I installed the uh, bias adjust pot on the back of the chassis so I can make my uh, adjustments without taking the chassis out of the box. So course this way you'll have to um, drill holes into your chassis so measure twice and cut once as they say. Um, now I've had some other questions as well that I'll just uh, talk about. One of the questions was, uh, sorry for the shaky camera, let me just get the tripod back up here. Another question was uh, why do uh, why can't uh, why can't you bias the amp uh, based on the uh, negative grid voltage? And my answer was uh, you can. Uh, I guess that's okay, provided you know the correct values for the negative grid voltage. That will give you a good uh, bias setting. I still believe that uh, biasing uh, based on the uh, idle current at the anode or plate is the ideal way to, uh, to bias your amp but uh, as I think I mentioned before there's other there's plenty of people out there that bias to the uh, cathode uh, idle current at the cathode but you have to keep in mind that the uh, tube dissipation at the plate is different than the dissipation rating at the cathode an EL34 or a 6L6 tube for instance has a 25 watt dissipation rating at the plate, but they're more like, uh, I believe, 30 watts dissipation rating at the cathode. So, you know, the adage or rule of thumb that you uh, should bias to six, between 60 and 70 percent of rated dissipation at the plate, all that, you don't be using that uh, rule of thumb if you're going to. Uh, bias based on current at the cathode because you'll get incorrect readings and you'll end up biasing I think too hot and it could cause problems. So uh, another question I had was uh, I had mentioned that it's easier to measure um, voltage drop than it is to measure current and then a question came from somebody well why is that and the reason why that is is because to correctly measure current with a voltmeter, 
the voltmeter has to uh, be uh, part of the circuit. The current needs to pass through the voltmeter to 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 measure the current. So, in order to do that, uh, let's say if you wanted to measure the uh, idle current between the pin three or the plate and the output transformer, um, you would need a break in the circuit uh, such that uh, when you applied the terminals of your voltmeter, uh, the voltmeter would essentially be a, uh, a series uh, in series with uh, the circuit you're trying to uh, measure the current. And that's just not practical to uh, go in and create a break in the circuit just to measure current. So that's why we measure, uh, I measure uh, voltage drop across a one ohm resistor and uh, get my current that way. So, um, yeah, I hope that answers uh, all the questions and uh, keep them coming. And I love to get comments from people out there. Uh, I don't get enough uh, for my liking. So uh, let's keep the discussion going. Bye for now.